what up y'all it's another beautiful afternoon here in london i cannot believe how crazy clear the skies are it's pretty much like la i had a pretty easy morning i went downstairs had some english breakfast another one love that english breakfast right next to the water staying at the mondrian hotel i'm not sure if i mentioned that before uh yeah just a really nice peaceful morning and then i got some computer work done i watched a little bit of my new favorite channel to watch it's a uh, sailing la vagabond it's a couple who just pretty much sail around the world in their boat that is such like a dream of mine and it's kind of interesting watching them you really see the realities of sailing around the world and it's just so technical and difficult and you have to be so like see smart about everything you're doing uh yeah it's just very very inspiring to watch them so they're my favorite new uh vlogging channel to watch for sure so definitely check them out right now i am going to go meet up with some of the lush ladies over at xmouth market and i really wanted to fit in some high tea in this trip so i think afterwards maybe we're just gonna go uh walking around shortage a bit and then uh there is hoi Poloi? I don't even know how to say it at the Ace Hotel. It looks pretty interesting, like a very modern high tea, so might be doing that today. Yeah, it's gonna be a super chill day. Let's go. All right, slight change of plans. I just met up with Courtney, just right there. We actually came straight to Shoreditch, and we didn't end up going to Exmouth. Uh, yeah, just in the store right now called Good Hood that I saw online. Some really cool clothes and accessories and whatnot. And then we're gonna go have high tea, so I'm just gonna take a look around. These would make my hobbit feet look even more hobbity. <laughs> Very unique. I'm gonna purchase this pin. So of course I come to a shop where I own that piece. A small version of that piece. And those little baby guys, those things I got in Iceland. <laughs> I'm sure they have some of these at those around actually. Yep, I was right. They got my little ghosts here. I love lamp. Oh, so cute. This is a really cool bookstore. <laughs> Gonna grab this awesome stamp book. Authorities. Definitely check out this bookstore in Shoreditch called Art Words. I honestly wanted to buy every book in there. I love how their menu is set up here. I think we are going to be going for a nice cream set. Tea just got here. I love how it's like a kind of art deco style teapot. Oh, nice and dark. All right. I'm gonna use a little milk. Oh. <laughs> so our set just came in. <gasps> I don't even know it's all here. We have, we have an egg sandwich back there, ham, smoked salmon. Uh, what are these little red guys? Um, Maybe red velvet cakes? Yeah, I think so. And then little bonbons, I think. And uh, the star of the show, clotted cream <laughs> with some scones back here. So Courtney has never had clotted cream and I have been talking this stuff up. So we're gonna watch you. <laughs> We're gonna watch you try it. Do I put it in the middle? Or yeah, like, oh. yeah, yeah. Just, just try. It. Just okay. Here, okay. The prep work's happening right now. Yeah. It's different than butter, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You need to try some now. <laughs> it's like, what is? How do you make this? That's so good. <laughs> okay, just got out of afternoon tea. It was so delicious. I'm very caffeinated right now though. I feel like extremely wired. So we are going over to shop a little bit more here in Shoreditch. I don't know, it might be one of my favorite neighborhoods. Just got to the box park here in Shoreditch and gonna visit some little shops. About to go into Wandering Minds. I think we're gonna grab this cool like faux PJ top. Okay, I'm hyped to go into this store right now. I looked it up, it's called Labor and Weight, and it has just a bunch of useless crap that I think is really nice looking. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, I do need fine Swiss pins. I think I'm gonna get this apron. So cute. Green Japanese stuff in England. What up everyone? Been a couple hours since I last checked in. Just came back to the hotel to chill out for a sec before going out for some drinks and dinner. I'm pretty freaking tired right now actually. We walked around quite a bit in Shoreditch. I think we're just gonna go out to dinner and then I'm gonna hit the hay because we've got an early morning tomorrow. But yeah, just wearing my Thrash shirt. I think I own like five Thrash shirts at this point. But this is the one that I got last Halloween uh, at their Hellride 4, which was with Diamond Supply. So I didn't just buy this one. I went to the event. <laughs> we arrived at the Arts Theater Club. Cat is down there. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so demolished this pizza without recording anything yet. And uh, just got a very different kind of tea. The alcoholic kind. <laughs> How is it? Nice. Good morning, everyone. Just got off of this big bus. We drove two hours to pool from London, and we are here at one of the Lush Factory locations. You excited? I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! We are here. Over here we have the ECs or the essential components. So, like this is the EC for the Dream Steam tab. We got Guardian of the Forest here. This one smells really good. Oh my god. So many. If you thought that a Lush store smells really crazy good and intense, this is like tenfold right now. Oh, okay. Let's okay, ready? Oh wow, you can really just squish it together like that, right? Can I take some video of you? Is that okay? Just mixing it up. <laughs> watching the experts do it. I totally messed it up. Okay, just came to a new building. Bubbles. Whoa. They're making the Jester bubble bar over here. Put in. It's white. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then you just know which slots to put it yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. Should be striped or anything. I don't know why it's kind of going. There's the finished product. Snowy bubble bar inspired by David Bowie. And Peeping Santa. <laughs> yeah. It's a shampoo bar. Yeah. So press this two at a time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi. Oh, thank you. That's got a little gift. Oh, we're sorry. This one has pineapple in it, right? Good night, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Alright, just got out of the factories and we are going to Storm for lunch. So, uh, I was really hungry and completely forgot to vlog the, uh, rice that I just ate, but it was good. And then also have this beetroot juice action going on here. Taking a little stroll around pool a bit before heading to the very first Lush shop. This perfume is exclusive to the pool Lush. A perfume that just smells like a Lush store. How funny is that? Back in the bus, we were stopped at the gas station and I got these really strange chips. This one is bacon and tomato ketchup flavored and then roast chicken and mayonnaise flavored. I also got this weird flavor, or interesting flavor, uh, while we we're in pool. It's oyster and vinegar, so we're gonna do a little taste test. First flavor, Thanks. roast chicken and mayonnaise. Oh my god. No. It really tastes like it. It really tastes like mayonnaise. Yeah. Like roast chicken mayonnaise. It's like mayonnaise and a yeah. chip. Yeah, that's so gross. Yeah. 
It's interesting. I think like that's so weird. I have to change my bandage. The first initial shock has happened, and now. I know you like it. <laughs> Bacon and tomato ketchup. I don't think this one can't go wrong. It's like ketchup chips. I love yeah, ketchup nice. chips. Okay. Actually. It's like smoky ketchup chips, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It is like a bacon roll. Okay, you ready for the finale? Oyster and vinegar. Whoa, that's this big one. You have to pick a winner at the end. This is like salt and vinegar, I think. That's huge. Yeah, I got a big one. It just tastes like vinegar, like light vinegar. And yeah, it's got a certain kick to it. It's good. Okay, so what's the winner for you? Bacon. Bacon? No. You like these? Actually, the mayonnaise kind of. No, <laughs> you love the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise kind of grew on me. Okay. This is my winner. Good afternoon, y'all. I did not vlog the rest of the night last night because it took us, I think, four and a half hours to get from Poole to London. So pretty much was just one long bus ride and by the time we got back, like I was gonna go out last night, but it was just too exhausted and feeling gross from the bus ride. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know that there was that much traffic in London and around London, it was really crazy, but anyways, just uh, stayed in last night, got some work done. I just uploaded a via vlog, actually, via vlog number seven. I just packed up my stuff and now I'm heading to the airport. Gonna do my makeup in the car. I'm not sure if I showed y'all my new luggage. This is from Calpac. Look how beautiful this marble is. I'm so happy that I got this luggage because I've traveled with it a couple times now and the wheels are so smooth. I just had no idea how much of a difference super smooth wheels make you know it just really makes your life so much easier so yeah hyped on this i'll link them in the description down below i think i'm gonna close out the vlog here i had so much fun here in london i honestly this is one of the cities i feel like i could live in i wish maybe one day if you like this vlog please subscribe it will help assist out i love y'all and i'll see you in the next one bye